It is all over for Jim Goodwin and Aberdeen, literally, as they lose 6 0 to Hibernian. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. This match was dubbed as El Sacchio, and I think it will live up to its name because there's absolutely no way in hell that Jim Goodwin will survive this result. 6 0 against, let's be honest, a Hibs team that are abysmal at the moment. A Hibs team that are struggling. They're not playing well. They're not getting good results. They've got injuries to key players. They've lost one of their best players, Portis. They've got another one of their best players who will leave before the window ends and he didn't start the day. You looked at the Hibs starting 11 and it wasn't good at all and you're thinking, well, if Jim Goodwin... If Jim Goodwin can win a game and if Jim Goodwin can save his Aberdeen career, then this is the perfect game for him. A game against Hibs. However, he saved absolutely nothing. Joe Lewis saved absolutely nothing here. This was abysmal. I think this was worse than Darvo. I, I actually do believe that. Aberdeen were fucking horrendous today from a defensive standpoint. They, they were non-existent. They'd be, been better off not showing up. Hibs, didn't even, Hibs weren't even anything special. Every, every, literally every single chance Hibs got, they scored. I don't know how many times Hibs just, well, about six times to be exact, but it's like every time the ball was crossed into the box, you, you thought Hibs were going to win it and it was going to go into the back of the net. Aberdeen just literally did nothing in this game, and it looked like the players down tools. I don't want to say that, like, but I mean, yeah, it didn't look like they gave a shit today. It didn't look like they tried. I mean, it almost looked like they wanted to lose, so good win would get the sack. That's the only way I can put my finger on it because the defending... I'm not even going to call it defending. It wasn't defending. It was fucking terrible, man. Uh, a, a Campbell hat trick. I mean, that's when you know things are bad. You're conceding a hat trick to Campbell. Uh, Yuan got a goal. Kevin Nisbet came on late and got a goal. And then Colin Fish scored a goal as well late on. I mean, uh, the, the Colin Fish goal, free header... Joe Lewis got a touch on it, but in the back of the net. The Nisbet goal, where the fuck was the defence? I mean, he was clean through. Like, legit clean through. All the time in the world. I mean, I, I would have scored this goal, so of course Kevin Niv uh, Nisbet's going to score it. I think two of the goal. I can't even remember, two of the goals in the first half were just crosses in. Headers. One of them was a corner, it was slightly better than the other one, but, I mean, these were just really, really simple goals. Uh, the Campbell penalty... Definitely a penalty. Scales was sent off for this. He completely brought down O'Connor. Um, just awful, man. Fucking, this was bad. This was really, really bad here. Oh, but, yeah, you know, Jim Goodwin, I mean, I, I, I do feel a little bit sorry for him because I think up until recently, things weren't going that bad for him. I mean, I know a lot of Aberdeen fans weren't exactly happy with where they were, but... I mean, if you go back to those two games against the old farm, he was literally a couple of minutes away from getting four points out of a possible six. We know what happened. It ended up turning into no points out of six. Then ever since then, you know, he just, he just could not get the results. He couldn't get the performances. Everything's went from bad to worse. I mean, I think he's won one game in the league since then. Uh, lost the Scottish Cup um, to Darvo. Lost the Scottish League Cup semi-finals to Rangers. They had the 5-0 pumping at Tynecastle. And then today is like the, the... I wouldn't even call it icing on the cake. It was like... I don't know, shite on top of the toilet paper. This was just horrendous, man. This was awful. And Aberdeen now are, are surely going to sack Goodwin. They cannot come out and keep him. The players obviously do not care. They down tools today. And, you know, Aberdeen will not improve until Goodwin goes. I mean, either they keep Goodwin and get, rest, get rid of the team or they keep the team and get rid of Goodwin. And we know what's going to happen there. So, yeah, I mean, Goodwin will. You know, I wouldn't even be surprised if he leaves. I think he could walk. Because, like I say, this performance was bad. This was the worst performance I think I've ever seen in the top flight. I know it's not the worst scoreline. Yeah, we've seen Celtic, you know, destroy teams over the you know the past couple of seasons. We've seen some 7-0s. We've seen some 6-0s. We've seen the 9-0 against Dundee United. <coughs> against Dundee United, man. And that was bad. I'm not denying that, but... I mean, I feel like I feel like Dundee United losing nine 0 to Celtic isn't as bad as Aberdeen losing six 0 to Hibs. Let's let's be honest. This was 
I mean, this is awful. I mean, look at if you look at the stats, possession, it was 50-50. Shots, it was 12-10 in favour of Hibs. So that doesn't sound too bad, but you look at shots on top. I mean, corners was 9-6 in, in favour of Aberdeen. So those stats don't look too bad. But, I mean, the main one, shots on target. Eight shots for Hibs on target, zero shots for Aberdeen. And, I mean, you can't score. If you don't get a shot on target, you can't score. I mean, this game... Awful, absolutely awful. Aberdeen were sitting in fifth, but I believe now Hibs can go above them. Or I think Hibs have went above them, actually. Yeah, I think Hibs have went above Aberdeen with today's results. So, yeah, I mean, Aberdeen in danger now of dropping outside the top six. It's just got went somewhere from bad to worse, man, honestly. Ever, ever since the Celtic Rangers game, like, they've just went to absolute shit. And I think Goodwin has to leave. I mean, the, the Darvo result was bad, but... You know, the board decided to stick with him. I think if he bounced back today and got a win, you know, it would have bought him a bit of time. But to bounce back from the Darville game with a 6-0 defeat, then that ain't getting you any time. Your, your time's up. Your time is done. So, aye, uh, Jim Goodwin, in my opinion, guys, will not be Aberdeen manager by the end of the weekend. Whether it's tonight, which I think it will be, or whether it's tomorrow. I just don't see how he survives. I think he might have survived losing today. I mean, if they'd have lost a close game, you know, maybe lose it by like a 1-0, 2-1. Maybe even if they lost like 2-0 or 3-1, you know, something like that. I think he could have survived, but you can't lose 6-0 to Hibs. You cannot lose 6-0 to Hibs and expect to keep your job. So, yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. I think he's done, and we'll find out if he's done or not, guys. But, yeah, good win for Hibs. Uh, pun intended there. It wasn't a good win for Aberdeen. It was a fucking horrible loss for Aberdeen. And, again, like, it's only a matter of time before Jim Goodwin leaves. And if I was a Hibs fan, I personally wouldn't be too happy because all this does, in my opinion, is buy Lee Johnson some time. And I, I don't think Lee Johnson's the right man for Hibs. I don't think... He's good enough for Hibs, but, you know, this this result will kind of flatter him in a sense that Aberdeen were just so bad. You know, I, I don't think Hibs were great today. I thought they were good, but I don't think Hibs were... I don't if, I, Hibs weren't the reason this game was 6-0. The reason this game was 6-0 was Aberdeen. Let's, let's, let's be honest, right? So we'll see what happens, guys. Let us know your thoughts. Should Jim Goodwin walk? I think he should. I, I, if I was Jim Goodwin, I would probably walk. Cause he's going to get sacked anyway, so he may as well do the right thing and, you know, tuck his tail between his legs or, or no, just 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 lift your head up, mate, and, and decide to make the right decision because I think it would just look better. And I don't, I don't, I don't think Aberdeen fans are going to be happy with him regardless, but, you know, at least you've got a little bit more respect if you walk away, in my opinion. So, yeah, I expect to see Goodwin be gone from his post tonight, guys. Let me know what you think down below. I'll catch you in the next one. Um, 6 nil to Hibs, like, Unfucking believable. Ah, uh, yeah, sick. Till next time. Peace.